Greetings, everyone. My name is Warren Gibson. Today, my teammates Ron Burney, Whit Poston, and I will be discussing Delta Wing design. Our project will focus on explaining the advantages and disadvantages of their design on fighter aircraft, their importance, and how they will impact the next generation designs to come. An advantage that Delta Wing designs have over conventional aircraft designs and even other unconventional designs is that it is aerodynamically fit for long distance flights. A Delta Wing aircraft generally has no tail empennage and sometimes no vertical stabilizer. Though this can lead to difficulty stabilizing the aircraft, having no tail empennage and no vertical stabilizer greatly reduces drag, thus giving the aircraft a higher lift to drag ratio compared to other aircraft with a similar aspect ratio. Another advantage for large scale delta wing designs is that the wing themselves can provide both storage and passenger areas within the wing, especially if a fuselage is not incorporated in the design. This would allow for distribution of mass along the wings. The empty weight or overall mass of the aircraft would then be smaller due to this distribution of mass load and more efficient use of aircraft space. Delta wing designs could prove to be beneficial for both military use and commercial use because of mass distributions along the wings and a higher lift to drag ratio compared to conventional aircraft. Large scale delta wings would mostly be efficient in long range cargo, bombing, or commuting roles. While Delta Wing design is beneficial for its high maneuverability and operation at supersonic speed for fighter jets, high viscous drag is an issue with this design. Due to their shape, large surface area, and low aspect ratio, Delta Wings have a large amount of induced drag at subsonic conditions. This also causes them to have poor aerodynamic efficiency and higher fuel burn which is especially prevalent when taking off and landing. While Delta Wing design may have their issues, engineers have come with new ways to handle the problems. To deal with deep stall, a condition which results when the angle of attack between the core line of the wing and the relative wind exceeds the wing's critical angle of attack, resulting in substantial loss or reduction of elevator authority, which makes normal stall recovery actions ineffective. Examples of the new components engineered to handle these challenges are compound delta and UGA delta wings. These designs allow the inboard sweep to be generally higher as it creates even stronger leading edge vortices and delays stall to even higher angles. Another benefit is that UGA delta can also reduce supersonic drag. Additionally, they also, engineers have also created canards which are movable components that provide additional pitch control since Delta Wing aircraft are statically unstable. Due to its geometry, the Delta Wing offers a variety of benefits in future aircraft design. The Delta Wing's impact can be seen most prevalently in high-performance aircraft, specifically in supersonic manned and unmanned aircraft. The aggressive sweep angle present in delta wings makes the design ideal for minimizing the shockwave nose effects generated in supersonic flight. This can be seen in the new high-altitude hypersonic Chinese surveillance drone called the WZ-8, which uses a delta design to fulfill its mission requirements. The vortex lift common in delta wing designs allows for much more aggressive angles of attack, especially at higher velocities making the Delta ideal for supersonic aircraft, notably in the more recent European fighter designs, such as the French Dassault Rafale and the EU's new Eurofighter Typhoon. As research continues into more and more advanced wing design, the advantages of the Delta wing and its many variations will continue to increase along with its use in future aircraft generations. In summary, we've discussed the advantages and disadvantages of Delta Wing design for fighter aircraft, their significance, and their impact on next generation designs. 
While the Delta Wing isn't without its flaws, research has been proven that this design can be modified to accommodate new challenges it may face in the future. With continued research, innovation, and practice, the Delta Wing can prove to be a major benefit to future aviation and the industry as a whole.